Ephesians 1 and 11 in NLT. This is a big subject. Now, he says, furthermore, because we are united with Christ, say out loud, I'm united with Christ. <laughs> furthermore, we've received an inheritance from God. Not going to receive, not seeing if I can qualify to receive. This is part of the position. This is part of, this comes with the position. I've received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance. And he makes us, ev and he makes everything work out according to his plan. Loud, loud hammers. I, let me read that again. Go back. It's just. You, you're bringing nothing to the table. We're not, we're not, we're, there's nothing you can do with none of what just happened. This all comes through his grace and favor. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance. Every last one of you believers who, are, who got born again and you're united with Christ, you've received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance. I have been chosen. Right now, all right now, Creflo Dollar. This is what I want to read to you. You know what I'm saying? All right. For if the dead rise not, then Christ is not. Then is not Christ raised? If Christ is not raised, your faith is in vain, Creflo Dollar. You are yet in your sins you still in your sins because all you do is judge and accuse that's the sin dumbass judging and accusing is the sin and you do it all the time and you are the type of person that you do you know what I'm talking about uh the devil wanna make you think you the type of person of the things you do creflo dollar how dumb do you sound you do you are the type of person if you do the things you do, if you judge and accuse like you do, then you say, you know what I'm saying? Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. In this life, in this life only we have, only, if in this life only we have hope in Christ. We are all men most miserable, Creflo Dollar, if all we had was hope in Christ. We'll be all men most miserable. But, but now is Christ risen from the dead and became, become the first fruit of them that slept. For since man came dead by man, came also the resurrection of, death, of the dead. For as in Adam all die, everybody or Adam at the day they are created. Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive that's hid in Adam, Creflo Dollar. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, afterwards, they that are Christ at his coming, at my coming. Those that are Christ, that saying this Adam, you know what I'm saying? Because Jesus said, 
Keep the Holy Father. Keep them through your name, them that you have given me, so they may be one as we are. Then it say, uh, then come at the end, Creflo Dollar, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, all Jesus Christ. Everybody that's Jesus have already delivered up the kingdom to me, Adam God. Even the Father, Adam God. When he shall put down all rule and all authority and all power. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he that put all things under his feet. But when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest, Creflo Dollar, that he is accepted. Now, if you ain't accepted God, then you have no part in the resurrection or the inheritance, Creflo Dollar. That's what I've been wanting to tell you. If you somebody going around thinking and praising God and thanking God, saying that God, lying on God, saying that God said it pleased him to bruise Jesus, it pleased him to bruise people, you know what I'm saying, in the name of Christ. It pleased God to bruise Jesus and those that was like him. If you could, somebody going around saying that, that's your problem, Creflo Dollar. That's what I'm looking for because I heard you say that today. You know what I'm saying? If you somebody that, uh, that say that God said every stripe that y'all hit Jesus with, that Jesus was hit with, you was healed. And everybody that lie and say that God hit Jesus is a liar. You know what I'm saying? That's what I talk about, Creflo. Like I say. But when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest, Creflo Dollar, that I am accepted this hour. And I ain't been accepted, Creflo Dollar which did put all things under under y'all as Christ and hid y'all in me, you know what I'm saying, as Christ. And when all things shall be subdued to him, then shall the Son also himself be subject to him that put all things under him. All of y'all, that's Jesus Christ, going to be subject or subject now to him that put all things under him, that's Adam God, that God may be all in all. How can God be all in all if he got the devil judging and accusing through Creflo Dollar and T.D. Jakes and Bill Winston them, not following us, you know what I'm saying, and then trying to catch up with us, cross by us, talking about other stuff. We don't believe no God that's safe. Uh, with every strike you heal. We don't believe no God that you say, say, you know, every, uh, it pleased me to bruise him. I ain't never heard God say that, and he didn't say that, that the way he said, they, I just said, they said it pleased him to bruise him. That's a lie. You can't speak up for God and say it pleased him to bruise him and then go around saying that's why you, got the, the blessing or the inheritance, Scriptlo Dollar, because y'all killed and murdered Jesus. Else what shall they do when they baptize from the dead, if the dead rise not at all? Why are they then baptized for the dead? And why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. If after the manner of me and I have fought with beasts in Ephesus, what advantage it to me if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. 
be not deceived. Evil communication, Creflo Dog, corrupts good manners, telling people that it pleased God to bruise Jesus is a lie from hell. You don't tell nobody that. You don't tell nobody it. Yeah, with every strike that Jesus was hit, you was healed. You don't tell nobody that. That's something that's embarrassing for God to even think that a scribe would think of him. You know what I'm saying? Awake to righteousness and sin not. Don't judge and accuse. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. For some, man will say, how are the dead rise, raised up? And with what body do they come? And I'll say, thou fool, that which you sowest is not quickly, except it die. A seed don't grow unless it die, and it break up, and it become what it is. And what, and what which you soweth, you soweth not that body that shall be but bare grain, that it may chance wheat or some other grain. God give it a body as it please him. Every seed his own body, all flesh, is not the same flesh. You got the kind of body of men, the kind of body of fish, the kind of body of birds, you got the animals, the celestial bodies, the terrestrial body. The glory of celestial is one. The glory of terrestrial is another. Terrestrial is the people on earth. You all got to agree. Can two walk together and not agree? Hell no. And you can't be in heaven as two walking together, not agreeing, because heaven is one. You know what I'm saying? The glory of celestial is one. glory of the celestial is one and the glory of terrestrial is another like I say y'all gotta agree there is one glory of the sun another glory of the moon and another glory of all the stars from one star different from another star in glory but it's got the same glory as the sun when you see a star on earth coming through the woods early in the morning or or late at night, when you see it fall and it come down through the woods, when you see it before it come in your truck, it's going to look like a basketball, but it's going to look like the sun coming through the woods, if it do it to you. I don't know it did it to me, you know what I'm saying? But it look like the sun, just like the sun, but it's a little bit bigger than a basketball. And it come in your truck, and it will turn your light on. Like, you know how you click your light up? That's the way it did mine. It came in my truck and clicked my switch up. When I heard my click switch click up, I said, God damn, how can this light come in my truck and click this light on? So I called my boss at that time. It was Ernest. I called Ernest and told him what just happened, how the sun just came in my truck. A star just came in my truck as the sun. And I told him I was scared because it turned my light on and I had to turn my light off. But after I turned my light back back um, off, shit, I turned it back on because I was scared. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, you got, you know, uh, okay, let me see. So also, so is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in a natural body. It is raised in a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was, a li was made a living soul. The last man, Adam, was a quickening spirit. That's who I am now. How be it? That was not first which was spiritual, but that which was natural. And afterwards, that which was spiritual. The first man, Adam, is of the earth, earthy. The 
second man, Adam, is the Lord from heaven. It as it is as is the earthy, such are they that are earthy. As is the heavenly, such are they that are heavenly. As we have borne born the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do corruption, T.D. Jakes, inherit incorruption. But you gave it to us anyway, didn't you? Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. She, they gave us incorruptible, and we didn't supposed to inherit that. And they changed us to incorruptible people. For a corruptible must put on incorruptible. That's the lie. I said you wasn't supposed to inherit that. So that's the lie. That's another lie they told. For a corruptible must put on incorruption. And uh, this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, judging and accusing. And the strength of sin is the law, where they get the judging and accusing from. You can't do this. You can't do that. This is sin. That's a sin. This the law. That's the law. Sin ain't nothing but judging and accusing. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brethren, be you steadfast, unmoved, always and abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Now, I'm going to go and read my but I just want you to know that, Creflo Dollar. That's the way I feel about that. There's a lot more I could have read about that. You know what I'm saying? To tell you, you got to accept God. You know what I'm saying? And, and I ain't been accepted by you, Creflo Dollar. And I'm God. My name Adam. And the Bible told you. And it told you to go to Revelations 3, 11, and 12. And you'd have read about me. And you wouldn't have lost your crown if you'd have knew my name. You know what I'm saying. You need to be saying that too. Come on. <laughs> Not when I was good enough to be chosen. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm going to read it to you in a minute. But why? Nigga, how you think it ain't, it don't mean if you good enough to be chosen. How you think God gonna pick you you some low-down lying-ass nigga that's judging and accusing as a motherfucking devil all the time? How you think God gonna pick your ass? Talking about you ain't got to do nothing for it. Motherfucker, you better be good. Shit, you be bad to see your ass out there ain't gonna have shit. It ain't gonna be like you think. You gonna get it anyway, motherfucker. You don't get shit anyway here. You got to be good, motherfucker. This is, this is Santa Claus, motherfucker. This is, this is God. This is the real God. There ain't no motherfucker that you sit up there and say, you know, you know, we ain't do shit for it and we going to get it anyway. You a goddamn lie. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, that Baptist. <laughs> yeah. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You a goddamn lie. You a damn lie. I did not say no shit like it pleased me to bruise no Jesus. And I did not tell your lying, stinking ass, devilish ass that it pleased me to bruise him. And I did not say each stripe you was, your ass was healed. And I ain't say none of that shit you just said. I ain't never said that shit. You did, nasty ass devil. No. You did. 
For he chose us in the Christ man. died for and you. He makes, the damn lie. And he the damn lie. Makes, God ain't never set out to kill no Jesus through your dumb ass, nigga. Shit, how you gonna sit up there and say Christ died for you, nigga? Shit, I ain't died for your ass, nigga. Shit, I got killed, but I didn't die for your ass. Many of us got killed, got our heads cut off, huh? And your dumb ass, and you sitting up there talking about you ain't got to do nothing for it. Shit, I ain't do nothing to get my damn head cut off, Nick. Get hung, Nick. Shit. Everything <laughs> work out. How it's going to work out? It's going to work itself out. I done had mercy on your crazy. I done had mercy on your foolishness. I done had mercy on your dumb talking. I done had mercy, mercy on your disobedience. I done had mercy on your violence. I done had Man, don't you think all that dumb talking you talk, I don't give you no mercy and I don't give you no grace and I don't give you no motherfucking forgiveness for that bullshit you be talking. That shit you talking now. When you sit up there and say Christ died for your sins or it pleased God to bruise him, or each stripe you heal, you just count yourself out of heaven. Every time you say that, you count yourself out of heaven. Every time you say that, uh, why, why, we was yet sinners and we killed Jesus, <clears throat> we were still favored by God. No, you're a damn lie. You're a goddamn lie. Shit. Mercy, I'm rich in mercy. How you rich in mercy? How you rich in mercy if you don't show no mercy? If you don't show mercy, you ain't rich in mercy. If you don't have mercy to give, you not rich in mercy. If you ain't got no grace, Creflo Dollar, if you don't show no grace, then you not rich in grace. God ain't giving you none. If you ain't giving it, God ain't giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? That's the way you figure that out. If you not a giver of grace, don't be sitting up there bragging on the grace that God give you. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't giving you nothing. That's a lie you tell it. <laughs> if you ain't showing it, you damn sure ain't getting it. And that's the same thing with mercy. If you ain't giving it, you damn sure ain't getting it. Same thing with forgiveness. If you don't forgive, I cannot forgive your low-down snakish ass. No. He's rich! in mercy yeah i'm rich in mercy i can say that so while you're sitting around waiting on the bad realize that i'm a son i have an inheritance i've been born into this royalty he is my father he is rich in mercy but he can't give it to you if you don't show no mercy to him if you don't show no mercy to me, I damn sure ain't gonna show you none, crap low dog. <laughs> Shit. And he loved us so much. He loved you so much that you going around bragging on killing him. He loved you so much that you going around bragging on killing him and how much it pleased God to hurt him and how much that every strike y'all heal. You're a goddamn lie, man. Let me get off your page, man. You just full of shit. You know what I'm saying? You full of shit. That's all I can say about you. This is God, Kreplo. I don't know about you, man. I don't know about you.